Sounds like the detective will be busy with the Joker for a while. Good. Gives this kitten some time to play. So what next? Help tall, brooding, and handsome? Or help myself do all the loot Professor Strange has locked up in that vault of his? I know. Difficult choice, right? Hmm. What will it be? Find Croc and have him rip a hole into the vault? As Penguin for some explosives? Not my style. I always prefer a woman's touch in these situations. Stay where you are, Ivy. I'm coming to get you. I need to get my kit for my apartment. No way I can face Ivy without my things. I'd be naked without them. Place is falling apart. There's no food. Everyone hates each other. These strange just keeps talking. So that's the plan. Yep. <laughs> I ain't so sure. For the love of Luke, we've been through this. We find Bruce Wayne, hurt him a little, and take him to Penguin. And then what? Penguin kills us? Why would he do that? We give him what he wants. Is a bullet between the eyes. Or worse. You've heard the stories. He's a monster. I heard he dropped razor in a pool filled with boiling water and razor blades. He thought it was funny. To be fair, that does sound pretty funny. Razor should never have left Joker's gang. Penguin was always going to try to get information out of him. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, how are we supposed to find out where she lives, anyway? Two-Face said she lives somewhere near here. So what? How does he know? How am I supposed to know? I, I don't question the boss. You shouldn't either. I know, I know. Well, how can he so pissed all of a sudden, anyway? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because Catwoman left him hanging over that acid tank? <laughs> really? Yeah. He had it just where he wanted her, and that bitch broke free. Seriously? How come I miss all this stuff? Maybe it's because you spend half your life eating that crap in those tins, and the other half on a crapper. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. Then here's an idea. Stop eating it, and find out where Catwoman's been hiding. She's here! Good to be home. Do not attempt to escape from this facility. I don't think I could have this cold. Pacify any attempted escape with extreme prejudice. Okay, Selena. Time to find Ivy. Let's hope she's forgiven me. Of course she has. She wouldn't hold a grudge.
What's she doing here? Someone's fighting over here! What do we have here? Weird out-of-place plants, check. Mindless hypnotized henchmen, check. The oh-so-subtle odor of rotting pumpkins, check. Looks like I've found the entrance to Ivy's lair. That woman's gone. We did it. Hello? Ivy? You here? You shouldn't have come here. Oh, come on. You're not seriously going to hold that against me forever, are you? You killed them all! Oh, they were just flowers, Ivy. I'll buy you some new ones. I know a place that... Come on, Red. Can't we just... Oh, for the love of... Oh. 
Hey, Pammy, here's an idea. If you want a boyfriend, how about trying the dating round? It's this movie crap. A billion microorganisms will enter your bloodstream. Spores will grow, replacing the blood in the veins. And when I'm done, your flesh will be replaced with bark. You done, Red? Do you really think you can beat Mother Nature? I just want to talk, that's all. If you're still breathing, it's not over. She's consistent, I'll give her that. I've spent weeks perfecting the toxins that will destroy your pathetic meat sack of a body. I just need your help. Never. Not again. You've got some nerve, Selena. Get back here, Harley. But I want to know who he is, sweetie. No one's who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? It was all a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. Nice of you to say. But you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. Take my blood, for example. I wish somebody would. This stuff is killing me. Why should I care? <laughs> because now, there's a teeny little bit of me in you too, bats. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't tell me it's not what you always wanted. Look, we're running out of time. I need your help. I nearly had a cure. It was so close, and then it was taken from me. So we both die. I'm fine with that. Are you? Imagine sucking down that last breath knowing that Gotham is doing the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. So that's Protocol 10. Poison Gotham. I expected more. Protocol 10? <laughs> Never heard of it. I'll be in touch!
I'm listening. Is someone feeling a little down? What do you want? Oh, Pat, cheer up. It won't kill you. Oops. <laughs> Where is the cure? Who has it? I had our cold-hearted friend Mr. Freeze making it, but he's gone dark on me. I'll find him. I bet you. Alfred, Joker's poisoned me. He may have poisoned Gotham, too. Mr. Freeze has the only cure. What are you waiting for, then? He's in Arkham City. Find him. If only it was that simple. He'll be somewhere cold. He needs to be kept at sub-zero temperatures to survive. I don't wish to worry you, but it is the middle of winter out there. I noticed. I've calibrated the cowl to track heat signatures. I'll find the coldest point in Arkham City. Thank <laughs> you. 